This is Tubby Iron. I maxed Iron Man with over 6,500 hours of playtime. Without a doubt, this is my best account yet with a bank that's worth over 4.5 billion GP. However, this account still has so many time consuming grinds ahead of it, such as getting the Zuck Helm, the three mega rare powerhouses from all the raids, the Inferno Cape, and much more. Buckle up because we have a very long road out of us. This is the beginning of the end. The Tombs of Amaskit is RuneScape's most controversial raid released over one and a half years ago. You either love it, or you hate it. This raid is special because it has its own system that lets you control how hard the raid is. There are dozens of invocations to choose from. It introduces new mechanics and higher difficulty, essentially allowing you to customize the raid to however you want it to be. Each invocation has a raid level modifier, which increases the overall raid level. Everything becomes more tankier and deals more damage the further you raise the raid level. 0 through 150 is entry mode, 150 to 300 is normal mode, and 300 to 600 is expert mode. The higher the raid level, the higher the chance of receiving a purple, and boy oh boy, this raid offers some of the most overpowered uniques in the game. The most common uniques are the Asmumpton's Fang and the Light Bearer. Both of these items should have arguably been put on the Mega Rare drop table due to how ridiculously strong they are. The Asmumpton's Fang is a one-handed stab weapon that is known for its insane accuracy. There are paragraphs of text and complicated formulas in the wiki that explain how this thing actually works, but basically it just rolls accuracy twice in one hit making it super good against high defense monsters. It has a special attack called Deviscerate, which increases the accuracy even further and increases the Fang's true max hit. This costs only 25% special attack energy per hit. And speaking of special attack energy, the Light Bearer makes your special attacks recharge twice as fast when equipped. It doesn't offer any combat stats, but pairing this thing with weapons that have strong special attacks like the Fang makes it so useful. The release of this ring to a certain extent replaced every ring in the game and quickly became the best item for the ring slot up until the Desert Treasure 2 rings were added. Even then, the Light Bearer is probably still one of the most versatile items in the game. Then there's the Mazori Armor Set, currently RuneScape's best in slot ranged armor, giving the best ranged strength. When fortified using Armadillion Plates, it gets increased defensive stats granting the best mage defense. Now. There's one more item that I would like to discuss, and it is none other than the Tomb Shadow. It is hard to put in words how stupidly powerful this thing is. It is a two-handed powered staff that has the capability of pretty much nuking most of the bosses in this game. And that's due to its passive effect. It literally triples your current magic attack bonus and magic damage based on the current gear that you are wearing. The magic damage increase caps at a whopping 100% magic strength. With all this increased accuracy and damage, almost anything can be killed with ease, even if the target is high magic or defense levels. It is currently sitting at a price of 1.6 billion GP. My goal from this video is to get one. I know it sounds crazy, but with the customizable raid level system, it might be possible. I will be running my raids with a raid level of around 400 meaning that purples are about a 1 in 10 chance, which is very common. With my gear, it takes around 40 minutes to complete a raid at this level, so I would be getting a purple roughly every 6.5 hours of raiding. That being said, I think it's finally time to enter the Tombs of a Mascot. I am one of the few existing TOA enjoyers, so this grind should be a lot of fun. Even if I go dry on the things that I want, it should still be exciting to see a purple every 10 raids. So, let's get started. Just did a quick 350 level raid to re-familiarize myself with TOA, because I haven't done this content in almost a year. Not going to lie, this raid was very sloppy, but I'm sure I'll improve as I do more raids. Wait, what? I actually got one? In the practice raid? Wow, that's insane. It's probably just going to be a duplicate fang or a light bear, but still pretty cool to see a purple this quick. This is exactly why I'm a TOA enjoyer. Alright, let's open it. Eh, it's just another ward. Wait, that's a collection log? Oh my god, I never got one in the main game? That was only during leagues. Wow. Well, I guess I got an Ella in this ward now. I won't be using it much, but it's still a decent item, I guess. My new best mage offhand. Either way, this is a perfect start to this grind. I guess here's the log now. Nothing really too crazy on here besides the two pets. I remember I got the pet within the first week of the raid releasing, which was so cool back then. But yeah, of all these purples, not a single one was obtained in those 107 normal modes. So if you're trying to farm purples, high invocation expert mode is definitely the play. Alright, this time I bumped it up to a 400 raid level. Maybe I might get the back-to-back -back purple with the increased unique chance? Dude, it still has 300 HP, and I'm at the last row. I'm not good at front row running. I might just die. My god, that was rough. The bow I was noodling so hard, even after landing the BGS specs. Ah, it's a white chest. Sad scam game. Wow. 148k from a 41 minute raid. That's pretty bad. Another raid completed, and we got a whole bunch of dragon stones. Maybe one day I'll turn them into glories and go for the eternal glory. 
I hate to expose myself, but I just left three restores on the ground in the Zibak rune. That actually hurts, man. I can maybe get by with my remaining supplies by Prayer Freak a lot, but I'd rather just take the L and reset. Unlucky. 170 expert modes completed. I really haven't done much TOA at all. Always a white chest. First elite clue of the video. Every single elite clue that I get this video will be turned into a master clue. Bursting jellies is one of the best ways to get hard clues for Iron Man, so that being said, I get to use my newly acquired Elodinus Ward for some extra DPS. Please just die. Thank you, man. That was such a slow Akka. Literally an 8 minute fight. My hits were so bad. Upset Stomach can be a pretty annoying invocation to run, especially when clearing the poison with the jugs. But somehow, it seemed to have solved itself. I legit did nothing, and I have myself a safe tile to stand on. That's pretty neat. I don't know how that got there, but that jug is just chilling right under Zebek. Dude, that jug is actually trolling me. How is the click box of that tiny jug being prioritized over Zebek? What? I somehow keep clicking on it, and I'm getting dragged into the poison. What is happening? I'm not even mad, this Zebak was cursed. After wiping from that last raid, I somehow forgot to re-equip my light bear, and I just did a whole raid without it. Surely I deserve a purple. Man, I struggled through this 45 minute raid for nothing. I guess I'll take the blood runes from the cache of runes. I don't mean to toot my own horn here, but a 246 monkey room without chance or chance is pretty good. At least for me. Hey, another elite clue. Also, that is such a good regular drop. T-Way prints so many good seeds. As I mentioned before, I'm not the greatest at front row running and dying there is extremely tilting. So I just save my adrenaline for the enrage phase. I BGS until I hit around the defense direction cap with a spec, and then I just dump my remaining claw specs, which usually does a good bit of work. See you later, baboon. I love seeing them get squished by the boulders, it's so funny. Raid 177? That's 10 raids since the last purple. Surely this is the one. Lame. I'm knocking out this master clue real quick. I noticed a real player actually blast mining. I gave respect to this man right here, what a legend. Oh my god, 4 HP, that is so stupid man. I was being stubborn trying to save my Brudoses, but instead I hit a billion zeros when the boss had 1 HP and ended up dying. Dry Streak is still alive unfortunately. Okay, we got a cache of runes. 1300 soul runes. That's pretty good, actually. If the BTS spec actually hits a Kefri, the fight is so much quicker. 448 Kefri without killing any of the swarms is pretty fast. Come on, please, it's been 16 raids. Just show me the purple. No purple, but over 1 mil in standard loot. I will gladly take that. Okay, finally a purple. 17 raids for this, with basically a 10% unique chance is a bit overdue, but I'm glad I got something finally. What am I feeling this one? Honestly, it's not much, but I think it's a Missouri mask. Come on, come on, come on. Back to back wards. You know, the first one was cool, but now I'm just disappointed. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. The worst part is that basically I will never be able to fortify it because you need an arcane special from the corporeal beast, which is extremely rare. So for now, I'm just stuck with the regular one. Whatever, at least the dry streak is broken. It may have just been the fastest talk I've ever done. 526 at this invocation without a shadow is stupid fast. This is one of the fastest raids in a while. 3647 overall raid time is quite good. Maybe a purple for my hard work? No purple, but a boatload of dragon dart tips we take those for sure okay i was about to complain about my 38k loot from the raid but we also got another cache of runes all right that's better we got 317k in soul runes from that very nice both up for the boulders is really nice don't need rigor or any gear switches to one shot the boulders Bro, who saw that misclick on the boulder? That had to have been like literally one pixel off. I'm about to fail the DPS check here, but watch this. The second the shadow raises the spear and it turns blue, you click on this tile and you walk right over the quadrant attack. This trick is super helpful for high invocation raids. Marking these two tiles is so good for P2 Wardens. Lets you dodge some of the special attacks so easily. Also for the skulls, you can just stand one or two tiles away from where it's landing and not get hit if you're adjacent to it. If you stand diagonal of it, you will get hit. Seeing this is so crazy to me. 14 torso seeds is 71k. Back in my day, one seed is worth like 50 or 60k. Man, TOA really made them drop so much in price, that's insane. Another 246 monkey room? I think that's still the current PB. We watch this, the boulders are gonna kill both of them. Sit down, baboons. Unfortunately, he got the sarcophagus open, but it doesn't really matter as long as you stay away from it. Raid 190 completed. A little over 30 raids done since the return of TOA. The raid scaled so nicely that time. 10.05% unique chance. This has to be it. So unlucky, man. It's not fair. Game sucks. For those wondering, I used a salad blade for the monkey room and whacking the core here. If you use a BGS hit for the last attack on the core each time, you will guarantee a 3 down, which is the max amount of points you can get from P2 Wardens. Any more downs than that is just a waste of time. Listen, I don't want to talk about it, but that may 
may have just been the worst talk of my life. At least I made it out alive. Eight and a half minutes is crazy long. I used my first adrenaline dose during the obelisk phase. Pretty much the exact same way I used it for the rage phase wardens. Just BGS and claw spikes. Another 10 or 8 dry streak. Man, maybe I should put the invocation a little bit higher. I feel like I'm getting robbed. Got some more dragon dart tips as well as a thread. Fun fact, I actually got the thread of Aladinus at 1kc in my first ever entry mode raid. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but I am geared up and ready to do a 500 invocation TOA raid for the fan kit. If I'm going to be doing a bunch of TOAs, might as well do it in style. These are the current invocations, and my setup is basically the same as my 400s, but I dropped a few switches and brought in the Blood Fury. I don't Red Axe Baba or Butterfly Akka, so the chance of death is extremely high, but I think I can do this if I just play it right. Ah, oh, this is gonna be rough. Good luck to me. This is my first time ever dealing with a level 5 Zebek, and holy shit, this guy's a literal machine gun. He's attacking like every 3 ticks. This is crazy. Okay, we got it taken care of. 6.5 minutes Zebek. All I need to do now is Akka, and then we're off to Wardens. Not going to lie, I'm pretty nervous. I actually made it out alive. My recording was off, but I walked into a black Akka orb, and not only did it drain my stats after my salt ran out, but I had a proc redemption like two times. Then the Blood Fury procced enough times for the Curse Spec to come back before I died to chip damage. I just don't understand I'm still alive. Nearly a 11 minute Akka, but somehow we made it to Wardens. I don't really know what to choose here. I still have one Sol remaining in both my Adrenaline doses, so I think I should take Life with Extra Restore and the Scarabs. Well, I made it to the last part. I have like no supplies left for this. I am definitely not using Rigor until the Enrage phase. Oh my god, my clicks are so bad. I'm so nervous right now. I have to care spec. Yes! Yes! Let's fucking go, dude! No way! I did it! Holy shit, I can't believe it! It's done! Oh my god, my heart rate right now is through the roof! Holy shit, my hands are so shaky right now. And it's a purple as well. What a miracle, bro! We don't milk around here. Let's open this bad boy. I think I deserve a shout out for my efforts. I'm still so shocked that I got that done, man. Oh my god. Ah, it's a duplicate Missouri body. Whatever, man. It's way cooler than a Fang Labor, but there it is. Cursed Phalanx has been added to the collection log, which means I can attach this thing to my Fang, and now I have one of the biggest flexes in the game. Oh, man. It feels so good to be a winner. We also got the Grandmaster Combat Task, a Mask It's Remnant. 500 Invocation Deathless Raid has been completed. No Mega Rares? No problem. Look at this absolute Giga Chad right here. Just ignore the cheesecake, but holy shit, I look like an absolute unit right now. There's the log now, fan kit acquired, as well as the second Missouri body. I still can't believe I got that done. Second try as well. The first raid I died to Baba because I stepped on a banana peel and got absolutely rolled. But the second try was so crazy. I was literally 1 HP without any prayer left at the last part, but I killed the boss right before I got hit. This just has to be one of my biggest accomplishments in this game so far. Oh man, I'm so happy. Mysterious page collection log. No way. How does he do it? I have never seen one of these before. Look at that cute little pheasant pet. First raid with a fan kit. I just can't get over the fact that I actually have this thing. It doesn't add any stats, but it looks so cool. Oh god, I'm panicking. Please don't die. Leave me alone, man. Well, that was close. No back-to-back -back purples. Sad scam game. Got a cache of runes with some soul runes inside of it. They recently updated the Book of the Dead, and now it holds up to 250 charges. That's way better than what it used to be. I've been doing a lot of clues and I finally decided to get an Enchanted Liar. It has some useful teleports to the Fermanic provinces that will speed up certain clue steps. 
And it is an infinite chargers. It's pretty good. I may have put myself in a bit of a pickle here. If you got that dunk attack off, I could have gotten trapped and straight up died. Everything's fine. This should put me to 1 HP exactly. See, we are chilling. All calculated. Oh, by the way, I have been skull skipping every single one of these raids. Even on the 500 run. I'm kind of shit at the game, and I used to mess up the skulls occasionally and die, but with skull skipping, you can get more points, and it makes insanity a whole lot safer. There's some specific time that you can do, but if you just spam click a skull with any ranged weapon from the marked outer tiles, you will never die. It's completely idiot proof, hence why I do it. Raid 199 completed, one more for the big 200. I may have just been thrown into the pits. Must have been lag. 424 Kefri. That is definitely the fastest Kefri I've ever done at this invocation. 200 extra modes completed, and we were rewarded with an elite clue. Oh my god, 1.3 mil loot without a unique? We take those for sure. I don't know how this managed to happen, but I somehow trapped that cursed baboon using all the thralls that spawned. This guy has 350 HP still at the last row. Both is being absolutely garbage right now. I mean, even though the both was hitting terribly, at least I got some decent practice in it running the front row. I feel like I'm slowly getting better at it. Bro, I swear this room is the hardest room in the raid. Man, that pathing was crazy. 240 Baba. Oh man, we are gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, I don't understand how people do this kind of stuff. Look at these two guys raiding together. Both of them are Iron Man on top of being one defense peers with Infernal Capes. That's actually crazy. I just did a raid with the level being bumped up to 435 using Dehydration. With the Yellow Karras, you don't really need Bruiser and Brojas, but that means you have much less room for mistakes since you are purely relying on your spec timer for heals. We got it done though. Surely a purple's inbound? Just kidding. It's white. Look at my login timer, man. Five and a half hours straight of raiding with nothing but white lights. The dry streak is starting to get pretty bad. It's been almost 15 raids since the last purple. At least we got the elite clue. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing again. Nothing. Woohoo, another elite clue, baby! I've been doing so many raids, man. I will be showing the loot tracker at the very end, like the Chambers video. All loads of Pulker has been my chill content that I do when I need to take a mini break from TOA. But I just got myself my first dark die. Black Graceful will soon be mine. Alright, raid 215, exactly 20 raids since the last purple was acquired. If I go over double the drop rate, I might get angry. Alright, we are saved. Finally it's a purple. It's just so sad, of course they break this miserable dry streak with a stupid light bearer, it's just so sad. Unlucky. It's funny when the baboon tries to open a sarcophagus that's blocked off by the rocks the Baba spawns. They just stand there like an idiot. I'm just too clean with it. All I need is two boulders and I'm at the top. I really like this little pot that they added here. It makes inventory management way easier. Man, I just want to grind these raids out but I keep getting elite clues, just let me raid. I am RuneScape's best lightbox solver, just watch and learn. See? Tubby the Puzzler does it again. Man, Sepulchre does print sandfuse. I love this place. Five sandfuse in one run? That's massive. For insanity? Instead of remembering where the last warden attack was, I prefer standing in the back and reacting to it. It's way more chill that way too. Another mysterious page collection log. I believe that is all of them. We do a little bit of collection logging. Full Black Graceful is now mine after 69 total completions. What a great number to end it on. I don't need the cape because the max cape counts as Graceful cape, but man, we are looking so good. The Volatiles being able to blow up the other monkeys is one of the best things that happened to this raid. As much as this room sucks, that change alone made this room way more fun because it opens a lot of cool opportunities where you can like bomb five monkeys at once. It's pretty fun. For the last set of skulls, you actually need some timing in your movements before spam clicking the skull to avoid both of the boulders that drop. They do a lot of damage and if you get hit by both of them, you'll take like 80 damage. So if you just time it correctly, you'll dodge it all and be fine. Purple on the first raid of the day, that's pretty exciting. Alright, what you got for me? No way, I got a shadow! Holy shit, dude! No way! Oh my god, I sold a shadow! There it is! Holy shit, dude! First raid of the day and I got a shadow! Oh my god! There's no fucking way! I actually did it, dude! I am so spooned! Nah, there's no way, dude! What the hell? Oh, just look at that log, man! Dude! <laughs> dude, I can't believe it, man! Dude, I can't, I'm done. Well, not really, because I still need my Zoe legs and, and the mask, but... Oh my god, I actually got a fucking shadow. Let's go, baby. That's unbelievable. 
No more Trident, man. Oh, that feels so good. Look at that, dude. Trident's gone forever. I'm done with that shit, man. Oh my god, dude. What a fucking start to the day, dude. We got the fan kit and then the shadow like 20 rates later. Like, what a beautiful toe grind. Now I could maybe push invocation even higher now that I have the shadow. Let's get out of here, man. Holy shit, dude. I actually got a shadow. I don't What do you even need to charge this thing so I can wear it? Is it blood souls or chaos? I don't even know. Damn, it's a lot of chaos runes. Oh my god, dude. Look at this fucking unit right here. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. We did it. My 12th purple is a shout out. That is so spooned. Like, ah, oh man. I don't even know what to say. I'm actually out of words. How is this even real life? This doesn't feel real. Dude, I'm speechless at this point. I really just went from Trident of the Swamp to Tumakin's Shadow. 1.5 bill just like that, dude. Dude, the possibilities now are endless. See, now I need to learn Butterfly Method for Aka, which won't be fun, but hey, it is what it is. That's the least of my problems right now. Dude, look at my bank value now. It's almost 7 bill left for that Shadow Pole. First one of the Mega Rare Powerhouses has been achieved. I think it's time we test this bad boy out. The first ever to make in shadow cast. Oh man, I can feel the power. These monkeys stand no chance. Oh god, the shadow spawned. Guess it's time to attempt the butterfly. This is going to take a bit of practice. He switched attack styles almost immediately. Well, I didn't manage to get in the cycle a single time, but just seeing the power of this thing against Akka was crazy. I was hitting over 70 damage sometimes. The obelisk got absolutely melted. Dude, this thing is so insanely good. I'm absolutely decimating this guy, this is great! You know, I definitely should still be bringing Bofa. I forgot about Wardens. I didn't think this part through. Like, look at these heads, man! I can't get over these heads! This is beautiful! Holy shit, dude. This is the best day of my life. I'm not even gonna claw spec. I'm just gonna see how the Shadow does without any specs against the end rage phase. It should be free. This thing is hitting constant 60s and 70s. 77? Back to back 77s! Oh, man. 65? Look how many rows I still have left! It's already dead! That was so fast! This thing is so good! Show me the back-to-back. Ah -back. Oh, man, I'm so unlucky. Okay, this time I brought in the Magus Ring and the Ancestral Hat. Without these switches, the Bopa setup is basically the same DPS as the back of the BGS spec lands. But since the Tumic and Shadow is so powerful, an extra one or two switches makes this thing considerably better. So now Zebek, Akka, and Wardens should be even faster. Also, I should be able to run the time limit invocation for some free raid levels. Why did it take forever for my Shadow to hit the Jug? Am I just dead now? Uh, I tried to get the Karis back off, but I got smited. I guess I should just keep using a Bofa for that mechanic. That's so lame, how I died of that. Trapping the range minion during Kefir is so nice. The marked tiles with the numbers lets you set up a nice dung trap for the ranger, so you can pretty much just completely ignore him and focus on DPSing the boss once you do with the other minions. It's not a huge time save, but it is nice. Wait, I'm doing it! I'm butterflying Akka! Okay, this is actually not that hard. The only hard part is timing it correctly to get into the cycle. But once you get it going, it's pretty simple. Okay, how fast was that? 444 Akka, wow, that is ridiculous. I've never had that fast of an Akka till now. Man, this boss is so easy now. So my brain completely turned off for the obelisk phase here, and I may have spawned the wrong warden, so... I'm going to have to deal with Akka and Kefri during the fight. I have Aerial Assault turned on, so this is going to be really bad. Oh god, here's Kefri. Dude, this is awful, I'm so dead. Those bombs travel so fast. How am I alive? Holy shit, I didn't see the scarabs till the very end and I ran out of prayer. That was so bad. I'm never doing that ever again. I better have gotten a purple for struggling through that. I got 346k. I was definitely not worth struggling through that. Cut it a bit close to that raid, but I still made time. I don't know what happened. Every room besides Baba of all things went poorly. These raids are too fun with the Shadow. I can't wait to use this thing in other places. Another raid completed, another Elite Clue. Man, I gotta drop this thing. Still don't have a Zemi Full Helm, unfortunately. Slowly pushing the raid level higher and higher. Casual 445 raid completed. Back to back Elite Clues, it's too easy. Hopefully I can complete the Master Clue this time. Man, that was way too close. Look at my supplies, I literally have nothing. I tanked the whole Zebak Roar attack this raid, but hey, 
We made it out alive. Dealing with dehydration is scary. Hello there, purple. 12.5% unique chance is ridiculous. All I need at this point is just the Missouri mask and the traps. So here goes nothing. Another Missouri body. Three rolls in the Missouri drop table and all of them are bodies. Wait, what the hell is that? Ancient remnant collection log. Oh, is that the Warden Pet Transmog? Anyways, it's it's a bit annoying to get another Missouri body, but like, I really have no room to complain after spooning the shadow. Let's see how this transmog looks like. Damn, that looks pretty cool. This log is so crazy now. How do I have the same amount of light bears and Missouri bodies? Missouri armor is so much less common. All I need for the pet transmogs is Kefri and Naka, which are definitely the hardest ones. Maybe I'll get those someday. Another one mil drop. These dragon dart tips are so nice. The fact that I'm just casually pumping out 455 invocation rates is now is so exciting. 12% chance for a purple every 35 minutes or so. Depending on my RNG, I should be able to finish the rest of the Toa log relatively fast. How do I keep managing to trap myself? This time I can't even melee the boss. I'm so screwed. There's no way I can finish him with the Bofa. Yeah, good fight. I tried to teleport out with the Book of the Dead, but the Scarabs are just not letting me. Another one mil? Bombing the shamans never gets old. Oops, I forgot vents. Silly me. Damn near a sub 3 minute level 3 Zebek at this invocation is so insane to me. I just can't get over how strong the shadow is. How did that scarab get up there, what? I don't care what anybody says. This guy in front of me is definitely having the most fun out of all of us. What have I done? I've created an army. Oh man, I really messed this room up badly. Wait, that's actually so nice. I just did a 3 down without any BGS specs. I did need to bring the Ultra Ring switch, but being able to 3 down at this invocation with my kind of melee gear is huge. That right there is almost the easiest way of spawns. I only needed to move 2 tiles total for the whole attack. Finally something my skill level. Butterfly method is just too OP. 429 Akka. I'm pretty proud of that. Oh, a nice double solar rune drop. Now that I have the shadow, I'm going to need a bunch of these. That Akka was nuclear. Sub 4 minute Akka? That is unbelievable. Akka really went from being one of the longest rooms to one of the quickest. So I just did another 455 invocation raid. And take a look at this loot. I got a whopping 78k. I think I got double potato cactus roll. Man, that loot is hilariously bad. 240 raids completed. I've been enjoying this so much more with the shadow, you have no idea. Nice, it's another purple. There's been a lack of fangs and light bears, which is kind of surprising. Hopefully it didn't just jinx it. Okay man, this bit is getting old. A fourth Missouri body? What in the actual hell is happening, bro? That is so annoying. Mains would be loving these drops, but, but I'm a filthy iron man. Where's the mask and the chap set? Man, whatever. Okay, so we're at 14 purples and 240 expert mode raids. That's actually not even that bad. 361 million Missouri bodies is crazy. I hate level 4 that back, man. Only having one tile of space for the waves is pretty scary. Especially if you don't know how to wave skip like me. I accidentally forgot to deposit my dragon pickaxe back to the statue last raid, but they added this little cavity here where you can put your pickaxe in and it will be at the statue inside the raid. That's pretty neat. Alright, no milking. Just give it to me straight. The game is bad. Holy shit, you can zoom far out in this room. Got the NASA space station POV. Clicking from all the way up here is hard. I wasn't even recording because I wasn't expecting a purple, but here we are six rays later. If it's a fifth Missouri body, I don't know what I'll do. Better not find out. Ah, it's a light bear. Average. I think I got four of them at this point. Almost got one for each finger. Alright, if it's not a back to back, I think I'll wrap up the Toa grind for now. Never lucky. Hey, at least there's an elite clue to close it out. Nice. And so there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's safe to say that the Toa grind is an absolute success. Pulling the shadow is legit one of the coolest things to ever happen to me in this game. This is my first time ever owning one of the big three mega rares. I had a main account, but I was never able to afford any of them. So just witnessing the increase of this kind of power for the first time has been a blast. But enough yapping. I know you want to see that loot tracker. I did about 80 expert raids throughout this video and the rest of the KC came pretty passively since the TOA release. So here it is. 2 billion GP earned in 344 TOAs. It's missing one of the Missouri bodies because I got that a very long time ago, but regardless, that is a very nice looking loot tracker. 9k Dragon Dart tips will last me quite a while. Also, the Cache of Runes loot tracker got reset for some reason, but that probably would have added another few mil or so. It's crazy that 3 fourths of the loot tracker is just the shadow. I can't describe how good it feels to actually have one for all this time. 7,000 hours later and I finally have one of the biggest mega rares. Feels good. That being said, next video we will have some fun with this thing, outside of TOA. I need to fortify one of my four Missouri bodies. 
which means I need to kill a very big bird. That's where I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching till the end, and I will see you soon. Sub to tub.